We're going to find a little spot here and we're going to do some work on that chain, cleaning it. I actually cheated and uh, cleaned it off at home, so we're actually just going to lubricate it today. Looks like it was time to do some chain maintenance already. You see a little bit of rust on the chain and that is still from when I oiled it in Thunder Bay. So I guess it's time. So um, I was thinking even though I am home I'm going to take the bike out and we'll use that growler. I'll show you how I lubricated the chain when I was out on the road because I brought it along and we did one mid trip. So what we're going to need is we have our paper towel and I have my grease inside the paper towel. Usually when I was on traveling I had this block of wood. It helps keep the bike up a little bit more. Not quite as leaned over. And we have the growler here. There she is. Found a little shady spot here. It's a little bit fun to line up. It's better to line it up from the other side of the bike. Yeah, it seems like it's better to line it up from the other side of the bike. Take it out of gear. Here to line up the grower. You can see it worked good the last time. So we'll give it a couple of rolls and see what happens. I think it's gonna come off. <laughs> Just because of the angle that, that the roller is sitting at. Yeah, it ain't gonna move with the weight of the bike on there. I have to turn it that way. So I just keep the the oil, the grease inside the tube. Keeps it from getting squeezed. Maybe it might not want it to. So uh, when I was on the road, I just wiped it off with a blue shop towel. But today we already actually gave it a bit of a cleaning. So what I like to do is be just a little bit messy and mark the side of the chain. Nice big grease spot so I know how far I've gone. Brought the bike out to a park here where it's hopefully not too busy. Takes a bit of effort to turn that wheel. Mosquitoes are still bad. Thought they might be better in town than the town park. I guess in a way this works better. When I did it in the parking lot, I went to the other side and grabbed a spoke. To give it a pull. Well, looks like we made it around. Made it around once. Normally when I do this at home, I run paper towel over it so it's not too much excess grease and I haven't been getting any grease on my rims and stuff. So I guess you'd have to be fairly unlucky here to pinch your fingers in the chain and sprocket because we're actually turning the other direction 
and it really takes two turns, two hands to turn, to turn that tire on this growler. So there you go. Have a nice coat of oil on the chain, grease on the chain, on the roadside. So now we'll just roll it off. Roll it off the roller. We're all good. Got her done. Not too heavy. It's worth a couple of pounds. So there you go. Hope you enjoyed this video. And if you do, please like and subscribe. It helps my channel. And uh, so if you ever find yourself on the, out on the road and you need to do some chain maintenance, now you know one way to do it. I suppose you could roll the bike along the parking lot and uh, you eventually would get enough uh, chain pass through to lubricate it and and uh, work it in but I think you'd be pretty far down the parking lot by the time you were done so yeah once again thanks for watching